Hello. Hopefully we're working. Looks like we've got audio working. Right. So quick video on Sketchfab. So let's go and look at this guy for a start. So load him up. Bum, 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 bum. Right. If we go settings, 3D settings. Matter of fact, we've got annotations as a separate thing. But we'll look at 3D settings. Click that down there. There. Loading the model. Here we go. So under here you've got annotations. If I want to add an annotation, currently there's nothing. If I want to add one, so say I wanted to do um say I wanted to do the size of this port here. If I double click it, it'll add a little thing here, and we'll call this uh dimensions and then um port size is I don't know what it is actually we'll say 180 millimeters diameter let's put a gap between that like that hit OK if you find that when you're like looking around it you don't like where this annotation is if you hover over it your little hand will go there and I can move it around yeah so I could sort of say I actually want it sort of there really yeah and if I move it there I can say there Okay, you can do that. And if you want your next one, you can just say, uh, I'll double click on this, click, click. I'll put our next one up, and this will be um, pocket. Hit, hit OK on that, and that will make a pocket one down here. Again, you can, when you go over it and it turns blue, when you're in edit mode, you can move that around. So if you, you might want to sort of zoom in a bit around here. So you say, let's, let's make this, put this annotation in the corner so it doesn't cover the logo, for example. And you'll see your annotations listed down this side. Um, you can. What, are, what does that do? You know what? I don't know what that does. Let's click on this. Ah, there you go. So that does a little screen grab like that. Okay. So you could do whoa, like that. And take that one. There we go. So that'll do the pocket. If we go in here. Go to this guy in here, zoom in, matter of fact we will move you so you're this side, makes more sense. We'll do that, then we can do a picture of that guy as well. So you can see the port and we can see the pocket. And that basically is how to do annotations. So you could do the next one, you can just double click here, put one on the side and we could, we could put on this. Um, uh, side side door or side window, however you want to call it. And again, we can sort of frame that up, take a picture of that as well. Okay, and that basically is annotations that will do with that. So if we go over to the VR thing here, ah, look, I haven't even done this, so this is quite good. So, what we want to do. For someone looking in VR, we want it, this to be the correct size. So you need to scale your guy up and down to sort of match how big this is. So we're going to size it down until he's about. That's too high because this, this is a two meter high tent, isn't it? So we want to be slightly lower than that. So let's go 110. 108. Okay, so that's quite a tall dude, and currently he's in a, he's sort of in a good place. We're going to go and uh, move him, so you can click on his feet, and you can move him backwards and forwards. So if you're trying out your VR headset and you find your your initial place is too either too close or too far away from the thing you're looking at, you can st change your start point to bring him closer or take him further away. You can also this little arc down the bottom, you can turn him. So if you want him to be at an angle looking at it, so we can sort of place him over here, for example. So when we fire it up, we sort of look in, get our heads around here. So you're sort of looking there. That's how we set that up. We will though turn him around so he's forward and about there-ish. There we go. Drag him over slightly. Right, I don't know what this outer circle edge is. I'm not sure what that's about. So 
So I might just pop him so he's a bit closer, so he breaks into that. See how that works? Hit save settings. And that basically is how to set up your VR. So um, if we exit this, we'll say save settings and exit. Right, it loads model. Boom, 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 boom. So now you've got annotations, yeah. And uh, you can go and edit them off. I'll leave them as is and you can add more and edit. Uh, if we go back to here, boom, 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 go in here, just to show you what I've done with the VR settings in here. So settings, 3D settings, da, 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 go to VR. So what I've got here, I set the all VR guy up so that it's head height and the same sort of size. We could add a plinth here and drop this down so you're looking around it. Um, we'll probably play with this next week when we get a proper headset to have a look and uh, work out exactly what we're doing. So I'll exit that. And go in here. And the only thing else to look at is a bloom settings. If you find bloom's like a, a a glowy type of effect, it gives you the this glow effect. Here. It makes things look really sort of shiny and new and great and wonderful. Um, but you can turn it off if you don't like it, or you can turn it down if you don't like it. And where do we find that? So 3D settings again, just to fine tune how your products look. We can go over to the little post processing filters. Okay, and we've got Bloom on here. Let's open Bloom up so you can see what the settings are. So it's um, at what point does it start to bloom? How intense is it? And what's the radius of the bloom? And we'll turn it off. So that's no bloom. That's just a clean model that reflects. Yeah, and I turn it back on again. That adds the bloom. And we've got the radius, uh, we've got the intensity at 29.4, just so I remember. So I can increase that or decrease that. Wherever you find it to be like cool. So we'll just exit that. And that's that. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's how to do a few bits of editing. Um, that's pretty much it. I've got a field of view, but we'll, we'll leave all these things. More or less here. We've got yeah. We don't want to go. Into, this is where I play. I'm in here setting all these things up. It's much much fun. Right. Um. That'll do. I think that should get you going. Uh. The only other thing to do if I exit that, uh, we'll say leave because I want to do the settings. Is if we go properties. Um. A good name for it. A uh, good description. Categories, I would say products and technology is probably good. Um, and then any uh, tags you want to tag with it if you need to be able to find it. So, you know, maybe um, black orchid, tents, indoor growing, that type of thing. Add to that. Um, and that should just about do it, wouldn't it? We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we're going to make it so you can't download it. I don't want people to download things, I don't think. Um, and this. The, the more tags and things you add in, the more discoverable this would be with just people searching uh, basically on Sketchfab. Um, yeah, that will do. Right, catch you later. We'll hit cancel on that and that will do. Done.